So I'm standing out in a field right now, all alone. My name's John, by the way, hello. I got an ask me anything question from a guy named Ryan. And uh, he was starting a farm up with a buddy of his and a farm partner. Uh, and he asked me, what are my thoughts? I'll, I'll read his uh, full question in just a second. But today we're talking about farm partnerships, why they are vital to keep you from going crazy. And so you don't find yourself eventually standing out in the field by yourself, all alone. So Ryan wrote in and uh, he asked, what are your thoughts on a farm partner? We are a newer farm and I've started to work with a friend building a business model. My strengths are working with animals and his is marketing. I'm just curious what your first steps would be moving forward. Ooh, good question, Ryan. Good question. Uh, I have a few partners here on the farm. One of them is our general manager. One of them runs the brewery. Two of them run our distillery. And then there's me who runs the farming part of this. And uh, I have tried to find uh, unsuccessfully uh, through the last couple years a partner to help me run the farm directly it would have been awesome to have somebody from the beginning so I didn't feel like I had to do both the marketing and business side of it and the farming and agricultural side of it I have some I have some words of warning on your friend who is just good at marketing or just marketing is what he's bringing to the table uh, we'll get to that in a second but uh, quick word on partnerships first maybe this is a good canoe topic for the future but Starting out with somebody, you want to have two different skill sets. If you're both good at the same thing and you both quietly like to plow away in the fields, you need somebody to run the business and you need to keep the other person accountable. Uh, if you're trying to make it a business, you need somebody who has some business savvy or at least is willing to spearhead that and take on all the things. Not just marketing, not just social media posts, not just writing a blog post. That's not marketing. Uh, that's just one part of it. Um, you need somebody to balance out the grinding in the field and the grinding in the office and without having somebody who's willing to somebody who's really good at doing both you're gonna struggle and uh, I've seen that time and again on different farms there's always exceptions to every rule and I can't overgeneralize everything but having somebody else to bounce ideas off of to keep you accountable uh, is absolutely critical to keep yourself sane uh, when you're setting up that partnership one of the keys to having some success in that accountability is planning out what each of you do. Yes, I'm totally gonna make a video series on this in the future. We're gonna set up a partnership, it's gonna be great. But you need to sit down and figure out everything that needs to happen on the farm. Uh, your accounting, your finances, your marketing, your selling, your production and growing, your, I mean, you name it. Uh, pick out everything that could possibly happen on a uh, farm, put it right them on sticky notes, and then put your name on one side and his name or her name on the other, and then put those sticky notes on either one. Or if you then have build up to the point or have the capital to hire an employee or outsource some of that work, you can take some of those sticky notes and kind of divvy things up. And that way, you know you two, you need to work in your wheelhouse, they need to work in their wheelhouse, and uh, there's accountability and you set markers where um, you're not just working and toiling, you're working towards a goal and you check in with each other, keep open, clear, consistent communication so that you know that you're both on the right path, you're on the same page and you're getting the job done that you set out to do in the first place. And that way, if either one of you strays, you have it all written down, you have your partnership uh, kind of spelled out where uh, you can say, hey, hey we'd agree, we agree that you would do this and it seems you've gone in this direction, why'd you do that? And uh, either you just got, you took a misstep or went down, you know, down and on a tangent, uh, or you took the business in a different direction on purpose and you hadn't fully conveyed that to the other person. We have daily meetings here, uh, just to bring it back to what we do. We have daily meetings here um, uh, about what we're gonna do on a day-to-day -day basis and what uh, struggles we're having, what blockers uh, have come up. We have weekly meetings about different areas of the farm and the, the business. We have monthly and quarterly meetings uh, and reviews on our books, on our strategy, on what we're doing going forward. And then there's a lot of ad hoc conversation now um, about everything. Now, our communication could always improve. Uh, I could be a better communicator. It's hard to write everything down. It's hard to spell everything out. But having that stuff written down, spelled out in a way where you can search it, like in emails or something like Slack, uh, it's harder if there's just two people, you just kind of text each other. Um, having all that written out helps clear up 
uh, problems, if there's a miscommunication, something goes wrong, uh, you have something to fall back on and say, no, no, we talked about this. We, we agreed that we would spend this money here and not there. Uh, and then you both come to some whatever agreement and then move forward. I want to cover this more. This was a good like, I like this is why I like to ask me anything is because you guys ask me questions. I get to think about it. We create a video. You're going to have follow up questions about this structure, which is good. Uh, and then I'm going to use those to create more content throughout the rest of the season. <clears throat> now, my advice on marketing uh, is very similar to advice on anything else, production goals, um, whatever. Uh, marketing isn't just creating a website, trying to get in the newspaper a little bit. You need to have a plan, have key performance indicators like KPIs or just say goals that you set and you need to achieve. And uh, it's not just somebody who takes pretty pictures and put up Instagram posts. There has to be a purpose behind it. So going back to uh, there being just two of you and one of you is the farmer and one of you is the marketing guy, quote marketing guy, uh, from all I have to go off of is your, your AMA uh, letter that you wrote into me is that uh, somebody who just does marketing, you need to set very clear parameters on what they do, what their budget is, and what you expect from them. If you were gonna have a production person and a business person, then that marketing guy should also be in charge of making sure uh, they track the finances, uh, making sure that they are doing sales and not just marketing. Marketing, um, you know, encompasses making social media posts, taking beautiful pictures, uh, updating the web, up, creating and updating a website, um, but that's not everything. You need to make those efforts, but have ways to measure what time you're spending on it and the return that you're getting on that investment. Uh, just somebody who likes social media and have, doesn't have any training on it, maybe that's, this person does, uh, is not a marketing person. They're an enthusiast who happens to use the internet. But with the invent, invention of the smartphone and social media, everybody thinks they're a marketing person now. What you really want to see out of that person is good analytics, uh, return on their marketing time, uh, have them close sales and actually move product instead of just generating awareness. Uh, and that is a tough balance that is going to be kind of different uh, from business to business. Uh, I've worked on, in, and with uh, many different kinds of businesses now. It's fun. I have a, a lot of small business owner friends, and we discuss this stuff. And uh, you can try to do it all, but uh, it, it comes down to the fact that you can't do it all. You shouldn't try to do it all, but you're going to, and you're gonna you're gonna try to find somebody to alleviate some of that pressure. And uh, that's why having goals, have writing down, doing some data tracking, and saying, all right, we, we spent this much on a website, we're getting this much traffic, how, much, how many sales are we generating? Or we got uh, this many likes on our Instagram post, who cares, you know? Uh, Instagram likes can mean nothing if they don't turn into a sale and then you have cash in hand. And a good marketing person will know that. If your marketing friend doesn't know how to go from the marketing to the the, the books at the end of the day for a small business, then they're not a good partner for you. You want somebody who has a little bit more business savvy uh, and then outsource your marketing where you have somebody else come in, a photographer, and then you create some, some Instagram posts and you just post them out yourself instead of having somebody who's just a social media enthusiast and uh, more of a hobbyist. Now, I don't know anything about this person and sorry to dig at them because um, it's not necessarily what I meant. But all that to say, be wary of your partnerships, set goals, uh, key performance indicators, or just kind of benchmarks, that was the word I wanted, benchmarks for each other, hold each other for that, keep open, clear, consistent communication. Don't be afraid to say the bad things and the good things. And uh, that's all I got to say on this topic right now. Whew. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you have an awesome day. It is starting to rain. I have to get out of here because I have other things to do. Uh, I'm just standing alone out in the field, no partner, it's raining. This is like so fitting right now. So, so I don't get hit by lightning. I'm gonna shut this video off. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And until next time, I will see you out in the field.